first virtual pinning ceremony celebrating the St. Ambrose University nursing class of 2020. This virtual ceremony will celebrate the amazing group of graduates who persevered through an unprecedented final semester and will include speeches and prayers from a variety of individuals. It is with great honor tonight that I thank the nursing department team members who have contributed to the education of the graduates during their education, especially during this challenging spring semester. With clinical expertise spanning several healthcare areas across the lifespan, the faculty represent over 300 years of nursing expertise altogether. The faculty, along with amazing office administrative staff, are committed to the education of high quality BSN prepared nurses. Thank you to all of our full-time faculty and staff and our adjunct faculty. Please enjoy the ceremony. Hi everyone, I'd like to open our ceremony with a prayer. Please bow your head. Dear Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to celebrate the successful completion of nursing school. Although we imagine this celebration to be surrounded by our professors, loved ones, and classmates, we are still very grateful to have earned this special accomplishment. We thank our professors for the love and support they have provided, especially throughout the transition to online classes. The cancellation of face-to-face -face courses brought many challenges, but through your strength, we were able to succeed. We pray for our medical professionals and essential workers, as well as all individuals affected by the virus. We ask for healing and hope as you sustain our bodies and spirits. We pray you bless and protect the graduates. Please guide us in our practice and let each of us serve as a light in this dark time. In your name we pray, amen. On behalf of the administration here at St. Ambrose University, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this 2020 nursing pinning ceremony. Today we honor 52 students who have completed the Bachelor of Science in Nursing pre-licensure degree program. Welcome to each of these graduates. I'd also like to extend this welcome and say a special thank you to the parents, family members, spouses, and special friends who have supported these students throughout their educational program. This is a rigorous program and I know your help has been of assistance. Congratulations to the faculty and staff who have prepared and mentored these students. They will become your newest members of the nursing profession. Graduates, as you reflect on your experience at St. Ambrose, I'm sure the second half of the spring semester has not been what you expected. You've demonstrated a high degree of resiliency. Know that the members of the faculty, staff, and administration are very proud of you. May each of you enjoy the many opportunities this profession has to offer and the benefits of your hard work for many years to come. Congratulations. Hello friends, family, faculty, and staff, and welcome to our virtual pinning ceremony. I'd first like to address the question everyone is asking and yes, I am wearing pants. Cue laughter. Pinning is a special moment in the life of a nurse. It's not just a moment, it's a culmination of many things. Late nights studying the pathophysiology of diseases, coercing your roommates to play the role of your patient the night before a skills test out, and the many early mornings spent before clinicals rushing around trying to find your nursing uniform. The last one might just be a me problem, but all the same, this ceremony signifies more than just a moment. It represents our journey. The class of 2020, our journey is not one I think many of us could have expected. I mean, honestly, two months ago, I remember talking about Corona in class and joking about it. Now it has literally destroyed our senior year in certain ways. Actually, during this time, I believe it has given us a great perspective that we can take into our everyday practice. The importance of human contact and kindness, self-discipline, and how evidence-based research is so important, especially before making a controversial post on Facebook and for nursing stuff too, of course. When you first enter nursing school, everyone says that no one is going to understand what you're going through unless you've been there themselves. And in the past two years, we have to, had to make decisions that set us apart from our peers. We have hustled, cried, and proven to ourselves time and time again that we can do much more. We know we have to push ourselves because someday, someone is going to be depending on us. Being a nurse is not a choice, it's a mission. We all started this journey with one idea, to be a nurse. And for many of us, that means different things. 
To some, it's to be part of a family tradition of caring for others or to repay a kindness shown from a nurse who cared for you or a loved one in a time of need. Or because you felt a call for service and you answered. No matter your reason, we have a fundamental essence of what nursing is about. Caring for others when they need us for the fact alone that we can. On this journey, we have had so much support and on behalf of the nursing class of 2020, I know we all want to thank our biggest supporters, our friends, family, and of course, our wonderful and incredibly patient faculty and staff. To our friends, we are so sorry we couldn't make it to the spontaneous Whitey's Night or any other event because we had to study, but we always, in note, we always noticed and appreciated the Graham Central Shake left in the freezer for us and the kind and encouraging words said or texted by you that kept us going. To our family, thanks for listening to us complain and being a huge support system for us. Even though we may have called, we may not have called as often as we should um, for about two years, we promise to call you more and we love you. And to our faculty and staff, thank you. Thank you for showing us the ropes and being role models for us all. Your kindness and patience with us was noticed. Your knowledge and words of advice are carried with us throughout our everyday practice and all the weight gained from the candy you brought us, except Kurt, he always brought us bananas. Thanks for looking out for our figure, Kurt. And finally, to my fellow graduates, we did it. As excited I know we are all to finally graduate, I'm sad to see it all end like this. But remember always to show kindness in all situations. Know you can accomplish any goal you put your mind to and never forget the impact you will have on this world. Although our journey together is coming to an end, our mission will always stay the same. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you all for sharing. The BSN nursing graduates from St. Ambrose, whom we are celebrating today, embrace the pursuit of knowledge and lifelong learning. These graduates exhibit nursing values, including excellence, person-centered care, and social justice, while caring for all individuals, families, and populations. The tradition of honoring these transitioning into BSN practice has been part of our nursing program at SAU. Bestowing a pin on the honorees as a symbol of our core values as outlined on the pin. The candle lighting is symbolic of transitioning to the BSN level of nursing practice. Many watching tonight are likely wondering, what does the pin mean to SAU nursing graduates and why do we have this ceremony? The pinning tradition dates back to the times when Florence Nightingale, bestowed a Medal of Excellence to new graduates in the early days of formalized nursing training as a symbol of completing the academic requirements. While the competencies have changed over time to adapt to the ever-changing healthcare arena, this rite of pas passage still represents the dedication to nursing education these students have shown. And I must personally thank the students for the absolute dedication they have shown during this final semester. The resiliency they have demonstrated during this transition to distance learning will serve you well throughout your nursing career. To demonstrate this commitment to nursing, the nursing pin may be worn or stored as a memento, but regardless of whether the pin is on display, as recipients of this nursing pin from St. Ambrose, you will carry these core values with you as a BSN prepared nurse. Your nursing professors have witnessed your challenges and have delighted in your triumphs. We. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that last paragraph so separate? Sorry. The other one looks like Florence Nightingale. I know, it was easy. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Your nursing, your nursing professors have witnessed your challenges and have delighted in your triumphs. We are pleased to share this moment with you and are proud to welcome you as professional colleagues. We wish you the best in your future endeavors and are excited to see the impact you will have on our profession. For this unique format, students were able to choose their pinner. So now please enjoy the pinning of our graduating nursing class. I will remember you Will you remember me Don't let your love pass you by Can't sleep Standing 
without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you. Why'd you have to leave so soon, yeah? Why'd you have to go? Why'd you have to leave me when I needed you the most? Cause I don't really know how to tell you without feeling much worse. I know you're in a better place, but it's always gonna hurt. Carry on! It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you How do I breathe without you? I'm feeling so cold. I'll be waiting right here for you till the day you're home. Carry on. Give me all the strength I need to carry on. So let the light guide your way. Yeah. Every road you take will always lead you home. Oh, oh, it's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come along. From where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it When I see you again When I see you again Ooh, When I see you again When I see you again Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life
said something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life I 
I've been waiting for so long Till I finally found someone to stand by me Saw the writing on the wall As we felt this magical fantasy Now with passion in our eyes There's no way we could disguise it secretly So we take each other's hand Cause we seem to understand the urgency Be afraid to lose control Yes, I know what's on your mind When you say, stay with me tonight Just remember You are the one there That I can't get enough of So I tell you Could be It's the truth And I would tend to wounded soldiers by candlelight at night. The candle and the flame represent dedication to patient care and patient needs. At this time, please light a candle and join in the reading of the Nurses' Creed. Two nursing faculty members, Kathy Keelan, who is retiring from St. Ambrose University after over a decade of service as a nurse educator with along with Kathy Andresen, who is also leaving St. Ambrose University after a decade of service to our nursing students will read the Nurses' Creed. 
all nursing graduates and other nurses viewing, please read along while holding your candle. Lord, let me begin today with your blessing to provide care for those who need me. Give me the patience to listen, intuition to see beyond the visible, knowledge to practice the art of nursing, and the attitude to deliver care with humility. Help me to see every patient clearly unbiased and with individual respect. Help me to face fear and anxiety with kind words and a gentle touch. Help me to see the joy and wonder each new day brings and let your healing light shine through my hands. My name is Leah and I'll be leading tonight's closing prayer. Dear Lord, please be present with each of us as we bow our heads tonight in prayer. I ask that you bless each new graduate with an abundance of wisdom, courage, and love. We pray that you make us each an instrument of your peace, guiding our hands and our hearts as we heal, mend, and comfort all your people who come into our care. I pray each person here continues to carry on the values of St. Ambrose with them through their nursing career. I'd like to offer a prayer of thanksgiving for all of our supporters, our families and friends, our loved ones, and especially our faculty and staff. May they each know how they've had an effect on us in our nursing careers, and may God continue to shower them with love. Lord, I pray that you keep each of us safe and healthy as we enter into this new era of our lives as nurses. And as we sit together, though apart, for the last time as this cohort, the spring class of 2020, I pray each of you always remember, we are meant to be nurses and we will change lives. And may we continue to do this all in God's name, amen. Celebration to last throughout the years. 